you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last Sony Vegas tutorial of the day and in this video guys, I want to quickly tell you guys, I want to quickly thank you guys for almost 450,000 views a month, so not total views, a month. So 450k, it's crazy, I would, I'm just going to aim for those 500,000 like within this year. So thanks again for that and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to animate text, well there are like thousand ways to animate text, so I think, like I'm, I'm just going to show you guys, you know, one of the, uh, the like the regular ones like very standard so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below already and i would say let's get started all right guys so we're in sony vegas right now and i'm going to show you guys how to animate text and like how it how, like how to you know move it so the first thing that we need is a text file so we're going to go to media generators right there so then we're going to take a text file so we're going to go to the titles and text at the left as you can see at the left and we're going to drag this one on top of our timeline so right now we have sample text um, so what we're going to do is let's say I'm just gonna say my name like just is that gonna fit just Alex Halford But when it's a little bit too big, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. Let's say 35 That's good and basically to animate this guys. It's really simple You only want to use keyframes all right guys and right here in this window I'll pop it up, you know uh, real quick. So in this window guys, we are going to uh, make our Keyframes. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put this one like right here so you guys can see it properly. What we want to do is when you want to animate text, when you, let's say I'm just going to let it come from the top to the middle. So what you want to do is, as you guys can see, we at the, at the, at the beginning of our timeline with the keyframes, you just want to put your text, you know, out of the screen. And to lock it, you just want to click on this icon so we, you can put it like from left to right without you know doing anything else. But I'm just going to you know do it from the top to the bottom. To start off, you just want to put this one outside of the screen as you can see so my name is gone then you just want to place a keyframe I would, I would say like right here and just right click and restore then we have our text again in the screen so let's see how it looks right now so that is our text coming from um, like the bottom but if you want to go for like get it from the top what you want to do is go click on this first keyframe and you want to see this window put it like on the other side like right there so let's see how it looks right now let's put this keyframe a little bit closer and guys how close the keyframe is to the beginning how fast it's gonna go so let's see what we have already so that's really simple guys so you can use all kind of different directions like let's let's say I'm gonna remove this keyframe and uh, let's let's say I'm gonna go back to restore and I want to have it like from the middle um, outside of the screen is what we're going to do now is I'm just going to place keyframe right there I'm just gonna drag this guy out outside of the screen so let's see how it looks right now so it's, it's going outside of the screen as you guys can see and that's basically the thing guys the thing is I'll, I'll explain keyframes real quick um, at the you know at the very beginning at the bottom you get you guys can see that you guys can see that it's the, it's the starting position for your, for your text and if you put a keyframe you're going to click and it's going to make a little spot where you want the text to be um, like wherever you want it so i'm just going to click on this keyframe let's see right there and let's put this one to the side so that our first starting position is just in the middle then we put our keyframe and then put it to the right and this is how it's going to look as you guys can see it's going outside it's going outside of the screen and you can do this with any you know kind of text uh, like you know um, how you call it like effects like text it doesn't matter but if you want to say like I want to have like a pre um, pre-made like um, animated text you can do that as well drop split you can make this already made for you but if you, want to, if you want to do it yourself just go ahead and work with the keyframes right here so you can actually put it like right there and let's see and I put another keyframe I'm gonna put it like on the other side so let's see how it's going to look so we're gonna have this one at the beginning and it's going to slide to the left and then it's gonna to slide to the right so that's how you animate text guys it's really simple I know it's still it's the matter of, it's, it is just a matter of using keyframes and that's what some of this guys that's how you use keyframes and also how to animate text so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this video was helpful to you and that's the end of the video so that's how you animate text guys it's really simple I know and uh, thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and also make sure to smash the subscribe button down below thank you for liking and commenting on this video I will see you guys tomorrow for actually two videos of reacting to videos from subscribers and an extra video so thanks again and I hope to see you guys tomorrow so until <laughs> what the fuck Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to cut that out. Okay, thank you guys again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yo. Yo dude. Ja? Ik ben nu op, op dit moment Sony Vegas aan het opnemen. Ja? Tweet aan je lotel. Alright, I got a quick phone call from LTJ official, but I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end off this video. Thanks again, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for three new videos. So, thank you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow.
What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last Tony Vegas tutorial of the day. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make the background like blurry. So let's say you want to have like text like clear in the screen and you want to have like the background of that blurred the entire time. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video so make sure to smash the like button down below already. So I would say let's jump straight into the actual video. Alright guys, so now we're in Tony Vegas right now, um, I'm going to show you guys how to like play back something and then make come like text appear and that the background is also blurry and then the text disappears and 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 the background becomes like visible again so what you want to do is i'm just gonna just go to media generators and i'm gonna drag in a text file so click on titles and text and drag that on top of the video track as you can see right there so we have sample text so i'm just gonna type in my name just is that gonna fit just alex halford not like i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller though Let's say 35. That looks good. But as you guys can see, it, it reads kind of annoying because the text is white and the picture is black and white. So I'm just going to show you guys like how to like make it readable a little bit more. So what you want to do is I'm just going to go make this uh, text file a little bit smaller. So let's say I have this picture and I want to wait like two seconds. One, two. And then from here, I want to have like blurry until right there. So what you want to do is you want to cut. And then you want to put your text like also on the same that that those two are starting at the same time then you want to also cut right here and you want to also cut the text right there so this part as you can see those two are just are the ones that is going to be blurry so what you want to do is you want to go to video effects and you want to like go to the g and find uh the gaussian blur this one and you want to drag it into the middle one boom as you guys can see right now it is um like blurry so it's a little bit like readable a little bit more and if you play it back guys that's how simple it is look it is going to be like really sharp and i feel like if i play back the video it's going to be like blurry and then boom it comes back so that's so simple in this you can just go to go ahead and just like put a gaussian blur on it boom and then you can do this with any you can do this with a video as well guys just cut right there and just make this part as you can see like blurry and you can even like make it more blurry just click on the you know event bank crop and then you just want to click on gaussian blur and you have those markers right here just want to mess mess around with those as you guys can see we can make it a lot more and a lot more blurry as you can see right there but i think like this is the, like the perfect blur so if i play it back like this boom you're just going to see that it's sharp right there and then i'm just going and i went where i cut it's going to be like blurry and then boom it's going to be back so that's what's in this so i'll show you guys again real quick um so let's say you want to have like i would say from here to here that's basically this part you want to put the blur on so you want to also put the text like at the exact same length at the when you when the blur is coming so this is our text and the only thing you need to do put a gaussian blur on top of this one and then you're done guys that's a symbol of this you just want to play back the video it's going to be blurry again uh, like a few seconds and then um, boom is going to be normal so that's the same list guys that's how you make the background blurry and you can do this and like instead of the text you can put your face camera right there so you can talk that's the same list you can use you can add anything you like you can do this i'm doing this with the picture guys but you can do this with the video and it works the same guys you just want to cut make the text as long as those two are as you can see those two and that's basically how you can add a blur to it guys you can also mess around with the blur like you know like how like how blurry it is and you can also mess around with what you put you can put text right here you can you can put something else you can put like a meme or like a, like a speech balloon you can put anything in there you like just make sure that those two like the blurry part this one is as long as the text one because you want to have it like appear at the same time right there and you want to also make it disappear at the same time right there and that's basically how it is guys it's like a really short tutorial i know but that's how simple it is you just want to cut where you want it and then you just want to put the you know put the gaussian blur over it put your text or whatever on top of it make it all like both like the same length and then as you can see those two are just the normal ones as you can see so we have this in between that's going to be blurry and that's the same list that's how you add a blur guys that that's how you blur the background and put something in like in in the like in the foreground so that's the same list guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and i would say that's the end of the tutorial so that's really easy this guys that's how you blur the background so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also to subscribe button down below for more videos every single day so thank you again and uh thank you for the continued support i hope to see you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to videos from subscribers so as, as always on thursday thank you guys and i will see you guys tomorrow
What's happening guys and welcome to the 100th episode of, so of Sony Vegas tutorial. 100 freaking episodes guys, 100 episodes. You're thinking like, Alex, what? 100 Sony Vegas tutorials? Yes guys, this is a series that has started in 2013 and this is a series that has been around the longest though. Um, so in this 100th episode guys, I'm going to show you guys how to reverse video, like how to reverse clips, footage, uh, you name it. So let's say you have a nice clip of you, let's say throw something and you want to make it look like you catch something. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to just re reverse footage, play it from the, from the end to the beginning. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, so make sure to smash the like button down below already. And f first of all guys, I want to mention real quick that I have my own TeamSpeak server. It's freaking amazing guys, it's free, 24-7, we have a lot of gaming lounges you can go in. We can even, you know, can hang out on the server, so make sure to check out my, the IP address in the description. And I hope to see you guys on TeamSpeak, so I'll be on there like 24-7. So with that being said, let's start off with the last Sony Vegas tutorial today. Alright guys, so we're on Sony Vegas right now, and... As you guys can see, I have a nice video of a car driving, uh, like with the sunset and everything. So as you guys can see, a really nice and calming uh, and chilling uh, clip. So what I'm going to do now, this is a good example for like how to reverse footage. Because as you guys can see, the car is driving forward. We're going to make sure that this car is driving backwards, so reverse footage. I'm going to do this with this car video. You can do it with whatever you want. Like if you throw something... Like I said, you want to catch it, you can just reverse that. You can just reverse that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to actually make it reverse. So you think like, Alex, what I need to do is like really difficult. I need to drag something. Well, it's really simple, guys. The only thing you want to do is, let's say you want to have like music underneath it. So I'm going to remove the audio of this video by pressing Control U. And then as you can see, the, you know, the music comes loose. Delete it. And now that we can put background music underneath it. As you can see, the car is driving forward. And um, I'm just going to show you guys how to reverse it. So you want to right click on your um, video and you want to go to properties at the bottom. Then this box pops up and to minimize the lag you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disample the resample. Click on OK. So now so when you when you reverse the video it shouldn't lag that much. So the next thing you want to do is you want to right click and you want to click on reverse. Boom. And as you guys can see, if you play it back, the car is driving backwards. So that's how simple it is, guys. That's how you reverse footage. It's really awesome. It's really simple also. And you guys can go ahead and, you know, add some really awesome music underneath it or sound effects. You can do, up, like, totally, it's, like, totally up to you because it depends on what kind of video you're reversing. So this is a car video, but you can reverse anything you like. And you can put sound effects underneath it, music underneath it. You can do anything you like. So that's it for this 100th episode of Sony Vegas tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for the all the good continue support and you know they're received they're getting received so well that's basically what i wanted to say guys thank you so much for watching to this 100th episode and i would say that's the end of the video so that's it for the video guys that's it for the 100th episode so i want to thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video and i cannot thank you guys enough almost 25,000 subscribers and we're gonna go for this 50,000 before the end of the year we're gonna do this together and let's try to get 100,000 subscribers in 2017 i really want to have 100k in 2017 so i'm going to just keep working on it just try to improve my videos try to interact more try to attract more views to my videos and build up this community we're gonna do this together guys so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to videos from subscribers i was not able to upload a video because of some hard drive issues so i hope to see you guys tomorrow thank you guys for the continued support and i will see you guys in tomorrow's videos so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom so thank you for the continued support if you want to see more content make sure to click right here that's it for today thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow